Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new movie review. Today I'm going to review Asteroid City, which was directed by Wes Anderson. So yes, this movie released back in 2022 and was very interesting. Oh no, 2023, yes, my bad. Uh, yeah, it's 22 adapt to the new 2024 uh, year. But anyway, I watched this movie and uh, yes, uh, I really like Wes Anderson's style, very, you know, symmetrical and very, very, you know, leveled and stuff like that, very cool. Um, but yeah, uh, fun thing about this movie that I watched, I actually saw some props in Venice and Praga uh, about this movie and I was like, oh damn, this is interesting. And uh, eventually, a few months later, I watched it now and very fun. So this movie is about an author and a, a narrator, I guess. Uh, the narrator narrates the movie, I suppose, which is played by uh, Brian Cranston, and the uh, writer is played by Edward Norton, and they actually talk about this story called, uh, you know, Asteroid City, right, where there is, uh, you know, a town, or a little village, I guess, in the middle of the Arizona desert, uh, which is Asteroid City, which has, like, a giant crater with a little asteroid in it, and uh, people can visit that, obviously. Uh, and yeah, some uh, some guy, a photographer, goes to that little village because his car is broken down and he needs to stop there, so there we go. With his three daughters, very cute daughters, and his son, so there we go, but they're stranded there. So he calls up the grandfather, which is played by Tom Hanks, and uh, eventually yeah, very interesting stuff happens. Uh, like, for example, space cadets, cadets like uh, scouting guys, I don't know, uh, go over there, uh, scouting group persons. Uh, who are into space stuff um, with their parents go to that little village to see the crater uh, so you know people come together now very interesting and uh, yeah there's the special day the, the meteor day or whatever or the asteroid day uh, and they all attend it but obviously there's this alien who actually you know appears and yeah people are very wondering about oh wow an alien cool so that village gets uh, blocked of the you know quarantine right um so yeah people in that town you know the photographer took a picture of that alien and you know the the words gets around right so people call up the uh, newspapers and stuff like that very interesting and uh, yes obviously uh, the photographer very interesting very interesting character uh, he has like a very, I guess, relationship, very cool relationship with the actress who is also there. Her daughter is also a space cadet. And this actress is, uh, you know, this character, this actress character is played by Scarlett Johansson. And uh, she, yeah, very interesting. She plays it wonderfully. So there we go. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> so this Asteroid City is supposed to be like a play, right? It has different acts, which is very interesting. And it's very nice. But yeah, it, the, stack, the, the cast is stacked and it's full of very wonderful actors like Tom Hanks, like I said, Edward Norton, Scarlett Johansson, who else was in it, uh, I believe, oh yeah, yeah, uh, Margot Robbie was in it too, uh, Jeff Goldblum too, uh, very interesting stuff, very interesting, Jeff Goldblum played the alien, so obviously because he's a very big guy, very large guy, and uh, you know, Jeff Goldblum is a legend, so there you go, what I thought of this movie was you know, it was interesting, very cool, and you know, I really get the Wes Anderson vibe here. Like, you know, the trends that are on the internet about him, like the, the TikTok trend or whatever. And the uh, the song uh, that he played during this movie, also one of the big hypes, or was one of the big hypes on TikTok uh, one day or uh, the other day. But yeah, very nice movie. Uh, I really like uh, the Wes Anderson movies. They're very special and spe spe special to him, right? So we have the Grand Budapest, Budapest Hotel and the French Dispatch too. Yeah, and um, very nice movies. Uh, I've also watched his first ever movie, Rushmore, uh, which is interesting. And he also relies on the, um, you know, on different actors from the different movies. Like, you know, Rushmore has the same actor who plays in Asteroid City. And that's, he also uses a lot of the same actors in his movies, which is interesting. Like, Willem Dafoe also appears in Asteroid City and also played in the, the French Dispatch and also uh, the Budapest Hotel. So there we go. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I really like this movie. Hopefully, uh, you uh, would like to share your reactions down in the comment section below. And yes, the road to a thousand subscribers is, uh, is just continuing, boys. Um, you know, 
We're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. Hope, but hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you later. Goodbye, everyone. What should I say? Train to San Fernando. You, you get it. That's the song. It's, it's a really nice song from the movie. Anyway, bye-bye, everyone.